Hey students, um, it's me, Mrs. Bell. I heard from some of you that class kick was a little bit confusing, so this is me doing it on my laptop, so it will be a little bit different for me, but I'm hoping it looks about the same as you. So when I give you a link to click on, you should come to a screen like this, and it'll ask you to type in your name. So I'm gonna type in Mrs. Bell, and I've already started one on this, so it'll, say continue and bring me up to the same one that I was working on. And then your screen should look something like this. Welcome to your first class kick assignment. Get started on the next slide. So here's your slides up here. So to go to the next slide, you click over here. If you ever need to go back, you go back like this. Okay, so slide two says, write your name in green by adding a new text box. To make a text box, you're gonna click on this T right here and then click and type in your name. Mrs. Bell. And then to change the color, you're gonna click on this T with the black line under it and then click on green. Oh, maybe I need to highlight it first. So for you guys, I would probably click on the T change the color first, and then type in your name. Next slide, draw your favorite animal below. Okay, remember this is me on the computer, so it's gonna not be very pretty. Here are your drawing tools. This is your pen, and this is your highlighter. So I'm gonna click on the pen to choose the color you can click on this. You can even choose the width to make it a little bit wider. <laughs> yeah, Zoe. Um, ooh, this is hard to do on a computer. As most of you know, my favorite animal is a cat. Here's a little nose, some whiskers. There we go. Next slide. This is the part a lot of students were having trouble with. Um, some people said they were trying to use the audio tool, but it said you could only do it in Chrome and then it wouldn't let you download Chrome. So I'm probably not gonna be using a lot of audio recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip over this one. With the red pen circle somewhere in the world you would like to travel. Click the raise hand button, top right to be checked, and then go to the next slide. All right, so I'm gonna click on the pen. Click on the red. And somewhere I would like to travel is Europe. So I circle Europe. All right, and then my, oh here it is right here. This little hand is the raise hand tool. You can say please help or please check. So I will say, please check. Oh, and then I can we can type messages back and forth here. Then if you change your mind, you can always put your hand down. You can also ask for help, and then um, random students can come help you, which I think is kind of cool. Anyway, please check, and then I'll put that away. Next slide. Drag and sort the animals on a scale of least to most favorite. So these you can just click on with your finger to move. But you have, right now I'm in the pen, so if I try and click, it's gonna write. So then I'm gonna need to erase that. To move things, you have to have the arrow clicked. So I'll click on the arrow. And, oh, they're all so cute. How am I supposed to rank them? Um, out of these, say giraffe, and then lion. Hippo, elephant, frog, pig. And then this last slide, what do you think of class kick? I'm gonna use the text. It is a great way to complete assignments online. And so something cool about Class Kick is 
You can then raise your hand and say, please check, but you don't necessarily have to. On my view, let me now log in as a teacher. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Maybe it is. I don't know. Miss Zoe. And Zoe's on my lap. She's starting to get a little fussy. So on my view, last pick. When I log in as a teacher, continue with Google. I can then view everybody's assignment. I can click view work. And let me show you what it looks like as a teacher. Find Mrs. Bell. Yeah. All right, Mrs. Bell. Here's what I see as the teacher. And then I can even talk to you guys. So I could write, whoa, that cat looks weird. And then if I logged back in as a student, I would be able to see that. So I hope this answers some questions that you guys might have about Class Kick. I know it's a little bit confusing. I would have liked to be able to explain it to you guys in person before sending out these assignments, but you know, that wasn't really an option for us. If you still have any other questions, go ahead. You can email me, ask me on Google Classroom, whatever you got to do.